you know it sounds simple to people like a bike but when you don't have the means or the ability to ride a bike it's a huge deal really? Really? I, thought, I thought we could go outside and do a different activity today what? Yeah. Because it's nice out. We never get good weather. Kids. All right, come on. Harrison was born in 2005. He had hypoplastic left heart syndrome. And so he was going to need three known surgeries. At some point, he suffered um, some a brain injury due to lack of oxygen. That is where his physical deficits come from. Oh, what? Wait. Wait. His physical deficits are classified as hemiparesis, meaning that the left side of his body is affected. He doesn't really use his left hand at all. Even though it's not easy and ideal, he still figures out a way to do things that, you know, you or I could do. And that's the that's the beautiful part. That's kind of what we choose to focus on. Good job, brother. Good job, brother. It's empowering to see them achieve something that they haven't been able to do before. He'd have to stay back when his cousins would go off and ride bikes or his friends, and I actually would even hear about some of these stories. So the fact that he's going to be able to participate in something that he hasn't been able to do before is what I think gets me the most. When you don't use your hip joint often, it gets very shallow. The ball will pop out of the joint. We were right at that cusp, like his hip joint just wasn't growing because of lack of use. Things like adaptive bikes, like things that cause you to constantly be using those joints will grow those joints. And so it's not just like a happy childhood thing, which it is, and I'm so grateful for, but it's a medical. It's going to help in so many different ways. You want to be included, no matter who you are or where you stand, you want to be part of it. And when you're able to do that, it is so fulfilling.